Good morning, blessed love and grand rising kings and queens. Made it through the night. Took my smooth move, um, as I said in my previous video. And last night was it was okay. I didn't feel any cramping or anything. This morning I did get up first thing and the, um, went to the restroom and um, it was okay. So here this morning I'm gonna start the second part of the 10 day plus master cleanse. So I have my big cup here, my big cleanse. And as I mentioned before, the second half of this, if you start in the evening, um, the first the first part of it is you take your um, your tea, your sana tea. So what you do first in the morning is you want to have your Celtic salt um, solution. I use the Celtic salt. in your room temperature if you're high water. So that's what you do with your now. Um, you're gonna make a quart. A quart is equal to four cups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my quart in here. And then I'm gonna add my salt. And the salt you're going to use two
Uh, it should mix up fairly easy because the, um, the wood is room temperature, so it's not really going to be. sitting here preparing this Which is something that's a little bit different than what I usually burn, which is my white sage. And um, I'm noticing that it has a little bit of a different um, smell to it. I'm sure I'm in love with it. Um, but it's totally different because we use our current and um, white sage. Okay, so we're going to have to sit for a second. everyone had a good night. I hope your day is um, prosperous and full of love and joy. Um, if you are blessed enough to have your family around you, embrace them and love them. Um, and just do great things. Okay. Setting my intentions really. So let's get started with this, okay? It's fully dissolved. <clears throat> so I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to put this in here. Now, this is how I'm choosing to do mine. You do yours the way you want to. I might change my mind about this.
<clears throat> it kind of reminds me of a book. So I think that so I'm over halfway through. So this is all I have left. This is my third cup. Um, I think that that is. I had the drop seats this morning. It could be for the first thing in the morning. Or it could be just I'm so excited about drinking this salt water. <laughs> so, like I was saying, I don't know if you have a bra, and I think that's what I'm going to um, use to kind of get myself through this in the morning. So let's go, and I'm sure I'm well on there in 10 minutes. That's how I feel. <clears throat> okay, so I feel extremely full. <clears throat> um, I woke up this morning and I did my normal maintenance. So I was washing my face and brushing my teeth. And um, I mean, most of us wake up thirsty. Um, for most of us, two cups is enough. It does it. So for me, when I did the second cup, I was kind of full, like my thirst was quenched. Um, what I do find surprising about this, and I want to mention this, I did do a detox one day flush before, um, and I used pink Himalayan salt. What I noticed is that um, with the pink Himalayan salt, the water was extremely salty, and it was very, very difficult for me to take it down. <clears throat> now, mind you, please do not misunderstand what I'm saying. Pink Himalayan salt is great. It's great for other uses, and there are different salts you use for different types of detox. <clears throat> this right here is actually the first time I've used coffee salt. And um, this was not that salty. Um, this is definitely something, and I'm feeling really good. This is definitely something I feel like I can do for 10 mornings plus. Um, I'm very excited about the fact that I got through this second part of it. I'm going to wait and see what's going to happen for the day. Um, I am going to go and do some low impact exercises, um, massage my belly a little bit, um, do another maybe five minutes of intentions, um, and I'm going to write in my journal about um, what happened this morning and how I feel about it. I really do feel good about it. I felt like 
best it might have been and what I wrote in my book um, my journal was that I felt like this might have been the toughest part for me it's drinking the solution in the morning so hopefully every morning goes just the way this morning is going and um, I'm going to think about it um, so have a great day um, if you're not doing this uh, with me just remember to eat something that is going to add to your body and not take from it excuse me mm -hmm. excuse me um oh filling things in my stomach uh oh okay as i was saying make sure you do things that are going to add to your day and not take from it it's going to add to your life and not take from it um just find moments where you can just do um, random acts of kindness for no good reason. You know why? Because if you do that, I'm sorry guys, I have a habit of messing with my nasty. If you do that for 21 days, you know it takes 21 days to um, become whatever it is you practice. Uh, and it becomes second nature to you. So make that as a commitment that you will for the next 21 days, um, or 10 at least, you can take baby steps, or one day at a time, because that's how life is, that you'll just do random acts of kindness. It doesn't have to be a big thing, it really doesn't. It could be something simple like opening the door. Um, I don't know if you're the kind of person that um, have people that just come up to you and randomly start telling you about their lives. I know I do. Um, take a moment to listen. Um, I know one time a gentleman did that with me, and I was in such a rush. You know, I wanted to. Um, the, the car was outside. Um, I believe I actually kept it running, which I don't really do that. Um, and he was telling me something. Um, it was something about what he saw me do that reminded him of his daughter um, that was, for whatever reason, was no longer with him. And he began to share a story with me. And um, needless to say, and this is really unlike me, I didn't at that moment want to engage this conversation. Um, but I'm not going to go into a lot of details. But do you know I stayed there and I listened to him and I talked with him? And because I stayed and talked with him, in that moment where I could have been in my vehicle or could have been in another place, they were a series, there was a series of events that took place that one of them would have been um, not good for me. And the other one, because I stayed there and I engaged this gentleman, was to my benefit. So, in saying that to you, I want you to kind of listen um, to the universe. And when I say listen to the universe, a lot of times people, they connect that with listen to the birds, or listen to the rain, or listen to the thunder, or uh, watching the wind blow through the trees, which is very much listening to nature. But I want you to understand there's another nature that we all sometimes overlook, and that's human nature. So listen. When someone is saying something to you, listen. Not only might you be saving yourself from something, or them, but most of the time, there is some, a message in what's being said to you. It's something that the universe knows that you needed to hear. Um, and it's funny, the universe works like that. It doesn't matter what you believe in. That's just how the universe works. And the universe rules. So it doesn't matter what you believe in. Some people say, oh, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. Um, <laughs> I heard a lady call it hocus pocus. And, you know, and I don't believe in hocus pocus either, but I definitely believe in the universe. I believe in energy, and that's what we all are. I believe that um, when you do something to someone or for someone that is good for them or that is not good for them, um, you're going to be the beneficiary. <laughs> Let me put it that way of those actions. A lot of times with us, we feel like we might not be getting, we might not be getting ahead, or things are not set up the way we think that they should be set up, and that's because at that particular time for you, it's not supposed to be set up at that particular time for you. Okay, so 
just learn how to read that, learn how to embrace that, and go inside. Because for those things that you think you don't have, or you should have, or you want to have, or those things that you think you, you shouldn't have, or you don't understand why you have it, there's an answer in here and in here that explains that. Because whatever's going on in here, and whatever's going on in here, is manifesting itself. Sometimes what other people's insides and outsides are doing, sometimes it comes over and it gets on you. But what you need to understand is the importance, as I mentioned before, of chakra balancing. And it's important to be able to do that. Because in that, you level and balance and open your chakras to be able to understand what they say. Keep that third eye open, the one that you can see when your eyes are closed, that will strengthen that throat chakra so that you can speak your intentions from the roots of your core. That's it, love kings and queens. Thank you for being here for this journey. Um, this morning was great. I'm not going to hold you. As you can see, I am a talker. So, thank you for being here. Um, do something good today. I love you so much. Kings and queens. Blessed love. And remember, I tell it vital. Love the life you live and live the life you love. Alright, coming from you from Lockdown Natural Creations. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Coming from you from... Full Circle Outreach Ministries International, the 12 Comedic Vibrational Points. Love you very much. Read the description. Remember again, share the video. Please like the video and please subscribe. Love you all. Blessings.